um, to drop and maybe you know Northern Ireland could have rec- uh, noticed that and recognised that slightly earlier and started to drop a little bit earlier but the timing of Portugal's runs was excellent um, as the game went on and as you say uh, created two or three goals in the second half from that and is that where you stop it at a source the wing backs Alves Amado Mado, not unsurprising that Amado has been given the start for this one how dangerous they have the potential to be over the next 90 minutes Yes, um, Amado was uh, you know, very dangerous whenever she came on and obviously Alves scored both two out of the four goals the other night um, and I think that's where their strength was in those wide areas so uh, I think they'll be pivotal in the game tonight again. Big night in store for Northern Ireland walking out at Bourneview Park this evening. The second game in this double header against the top ranked team in the group. alongside Roy Carroll, the goalkeeping coach. For the home side, three changes from Friday night. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Three Six. switches as well Anthony, for the visitors. Nine, Pereira. Six, Kerry Halliday. Six, Anthony Anagandito. Eight, Adriana Norton. Nine, Anna Borges. Anna Borges, the experienced skipper of Portugal. Three seasons at Chelsea. Pre-match huddle from the Portuguese side. Qualified for the last three major tournaments. And didn't, didn't really try and push up an attack. They were very disciplined. They, they almost let Borges and, and Gomez do that instead. Is to hold it up. Borges back in the battle of the two number nines. Halliday, nice link up play to fight McGill. Big chance for Northern Ireland. And they've hit the run running. What a start for the home side. A tap in for Wade. Lovely link up play between Halliday and Miguel. They didn't have an effort and go four days ago. They were ready to find an end in the opening minutes here. Simone Miguel looked into the middle. And Lauren Wade was in the right place to score international goal number 12. The perfect start. Portugal's first attack of numbers over here. Alaves, so close. Such a dangerous, dangerous player. Lucy Alaves tried to Flags up again. I think I'll change the way they play. It looks like it's given them a bit of a wake-up call anyway, because they looked like they were kind of coasting at the start of the game, and uh, now they found themselves 1-0 down. And, you know, hope that the back three that, that are behind them can provide the cover needed. Burns. Screw it. Nice link-up play. Flipped in, and well, it's good defending initially from McKenna. Another chance. Diana Gomez. Costa. Brilliant ball. I think. Well, the flag actually stayed down. I wonder, did, did Alves make the run a little bit too early? This is it, the chance a moment to go. Halliday. Right night as well. There's the run towards the near post. He's the intended target. Flicks off to the head of the defender. Driven goalwards by Andrews. Portugal didn't look particularly comfortable from that set piece. Just about hack it away. Hamilton scurries across and does get there. Lift it in. There's equaliser. Headed in by Nazareth. Cross for Smalvez. And Portugal level. It's Nazareth's eighth goal. 
She was top scorer in the Portuguese league last season. Julie, you spoke about the patience, but Portugal were clinical when they got into that final third. Yeah, and again, it's um, Alves in the wide area, you know, causing problems coming in on the right foot, and an excellent ball in, and, you know, got in between the two Northern Ireland defenders and an, an excellent header down in the, the bottom corner. Having won their last five in the bounce. Another uh, challenge from the centre half is going to be penalised. This time it's Laura Rafferty with the ice stretch leg. Gomez, Silva trying to flick it on, but there was nobody there. And there, were, there were times when you were playing, Julie, you were, you were maybe getting one or two during that time frame. Yeah, but I love the 15 years of 10 to Good pass back to the goal scorer, Nazareth, and it's tipped over the top by Burns. Said she was having more of an influence. There's another example. In right now, but it, it's, it, it's, it hasn't worked out this time. And Portugal could be in here, they've gone ahead. Possession given away cheaply, and Norton squeeze it in at the near post. And that's the danger. Yeah, there's always that risk. Um, I think it's the ball, the ball into the middle of the pitch was the one that's causing Northern Ireland problems. You know, the, the midfielders are coming in flat to receive the ball, and Portugal are pressing them and winning the ball back. And there's been a few, a few chances created from that. It did take a deflection on its way through. Players causing problems. Pulled back, dealt with by Rafferty. Edge of the box, tackle was a good one from uh, McKenna. Gets her head on. Norton, driven goalwards. Acrobatic effort over the top from Encarnacio. She tried one of those on Friday as well, from memory. It's just relentless at the minute, isn't it? Amado loses out. Miguel, two around her, she's gonna have to go herself. We're dead. Cut back towards the edge of the six yard box and oh Simone Miguel battling away for it Wade drills it in another corner kick well I heard Ashley mention it the other night whenever we the time we beat Portugal and um, back in 2017 it was so cold it was unbelievable but, you know you think you're going to Portugal Northern Ireland trail at the break. They took an early lead through Lauren Wade, but Portugal hit back with a double. It's been a lot more positive though from Tanya Oxtoby's side in terms of the ball out from the, from the back. It's, it's probably not the type of position that, that Howe is going to be. Uh... To Alves. Looping effort. By the time it reached the goalkeeper, Burns it had little or no power on it. Massive player in this side. Alves plays it in first time, and then Carnacio, winner, deep in injury time. Scored in the 94th minute of that game. Good ball in. Burns collects it. Borges looking for the run of Alves. Out comes Burns. Again, looking for the same pattern that they worked on Friday night that was so successful for them, but well read by Jackie. And because as, as they play more passes, Northern Ireland start to drift off them a little bit, and then they get that time and space to get their head up and play those longer passes. It's probably also when you see the best of Borges as well. Yeah. Just find those little pockets, and then, you know, an example like that where she makes the, rerun, the little run inside, provides a space. Then you can get closer and try to get pressure on the ball. Pressure on the ball coming from Simone McGill this time. Much in the game at the moment. Silva. Battled away by... Excellent from uh, Reba to get her, get her body in the way and guide the ball back into Jackie. Just over 20 minutes of this qualifier still to go. Now it's time for 
at Portuguese change and it's Nadareth such an influential player in Lira here is Marchal Armado's on the ball right now watched all the way by Dugdale Holloway but then gives it away to Marchal Silva on the move straight away Still Amara. Doug Dale battling with her. Goal kick. That's better. Here's Wilson. Players flooding forward. Wilson takes on Borges, who uses all of her experience. Good challenge from the defender. And the full time whistle signs. Portugal get the job done. Northern Ireland asked them questions, though. That's took an early lead through, one through one Lauren one Wade. One but the table toppers battled back with two in the first half. The a quiet second.